All of my life, I lived under the dark cloud of fear of breast cancer. My father lost his mother when he was 12 years old and left behind six children. Later on, he would lose his baby sister to breast cancer, and then later on, his older sister would develop it. My mother's baby sister, my Aunt Sue, she developed breast cancer at the age of 32. She lived less than a year, and she died when she was 33. My mom was a little bit older than her, and it just completely changed who she was. And after Aunt Sue passed away, my mom found a knot in her breast, but she didn't go to the doctor for two years. When she finally did go to the doctor, it was breast cancer. She had one breast removed. Four years later, she was diagnosed with breast cancer again and had the other breast removed. I was doing a self-examination and I found a knot and I wasn't really that worried about it, but I went and got a mammogram and I had breast cancer. When I was diagnosed, I think one of the things that scared me the most was knowing that I wouldn't be here to help my children grow up and their dad and leave him alone, a single parent. The first thing that I had to do was go through the surgeries and I had a bilateral mastectomy with reconstruction. I started the, uh, the red devil, but I got through it and um, it was really an effort on the whole family's part. And my husband and my mother together took care of our home and my family, as well as our friends and Last but not least, my church family. They were phenomenal during that time. One of the things they did was put me through the genetic testing and I found out that I was BRCA1. And finally, after all these years and all these people with breast cancer, there was an answer. And finding that out was devastating because I knew that my children and my grandchildren would have all the same risk as I had of developing breast cancer. In 2006, my mom was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. She would lose that battle in 2010. And then I found out that my oldest daughter is BRCA1 positive. I already knew um, what I was gonna do with that information and that I was gonna have the surgery prophylactically. Um, the hardest part was deciding when, because at the time I was 22, I was a single mom, and I knew that I wanted to eventually get married and maybe have more babies. And I had Hank, my, my baby, and then he was about a year old and I was 31. But after the surgery, I probably um, cried harder than I'd ever cried. Um, and after the reconstruction, um, I already started feeling better. I felt like okay, my, my femininity is coming back, my, I feel like a woman again. However, the healing process was quite a journey for me and my family. Thankfully, my family, my husband at the time, and his family, my church family, it was wonderful to have that support. Always in the back of my mind, worry about my sister, my daughter, my cousins, but this year, 2018, um, my mom called me while I was out of town and um, she told me that my cousin, um, who we kind of grew up like sisters, very, very close, love her, um, found that she was diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, so it definitely came crashing back. I was diagnosed with ductal carcinoma on April 12, 2018, and that was the beginning of my cancer journey. Biggest concerns were for my children because I want to be here for them. So, with lots of family support and friend support, you know, um, my husband like got on top of it and found a way for me to have insurance. I was put on a five and a half month treatment, and it was two phases. And um, through this process, they tested me, and um, I knew that my family history had this gene, so they matched it up. When you finish chemo, you get to ring a bell. It means you're done. And I didn't realize that I was going to get so emotional, but you have to read this little poem, and just being in the chemo room with all the nurses and just everything, 
just flooded me with emotions. And... Okay. Ring this bell three times well. Told to clearly play, say. <laughs> My treatments are done. It's course that's run. I was just really excited. My whole family has been really excited for me to be done with chemo and, and now the next step for me is going to be an operation where I'm going to get my double mastectomy on October 29th. There's a chance that I may have to have some radiation and um, I'm hoping that I don't but if I do we'll just get through that phase too and you know, and then maybe after that, then I'll get to have reconstruction done to my breast. That, that'll kind of be, maybe that'll be the end of this, a little bit of the end of this journey. My name is Leisha Emerson. My name is Candace Mallory. My name is Cassie Haley. And, and this, this is, is our story. story.